Hi everybody, I'm Miss Callan with SHIP and today we're going to be exploring ancient China by preparing some fried rice. So we're going to be cooking with all of these healthy ingredients and we're going to be using brown rice and we're going to make some delicious fried rice. First we're going to learn a little bit about agriculture in ancient China and especially rice. So let's take a few minutes to talk about agriculture in China. So in China, rice is grown in the southern part of the country and wheat is actually grown in the north part of the country. And some of the other important crops in China are soybeans and tea. And in these pictures, you can see some of the rice paddies grown on terraces in China. Rice is actually grown underwater. So what kind of plant is rice? Rice and actually other grains too are really grass plants. They're big, tall grasses and what we eat are the seeds. So we plant the little seeds and they grow into grass. And then as the, as the grains fill and turn brown and get ripe, we then would harvest them and we can grind them into flour or we can eat them as, as grains like rice. So what are some other grains that you can think of that are also grasses? Did you guess wheat and barley and oats and rye? All of those grains are really from grass plants. In Asia and in China, there's a long, long history of eating rice. So way back in 8,000 BC, they found archeological evidence of people gathering wild rice. And in this picture, that would have happened where the dark orange little spots are and where the, some of the, the open circles are. And then what happened is people began to cultivate rice and that means they began to actually grow it. So they would have been gathering the wild rice seeds and they would have been planting some of those seeds in the ground to grow an actual field of rice. And as they grew the rice, they would have picked out the best plants with the fattest grains and the most grains, and they would have saved the seeds from those plants to plant again and get even better rice. So through time, the rice plant would have evolved and changed a little bit from the wild rice into the rice that we begin to recognize as rice that has tons of grains that are big and fat and full of nutrition. So how does rice actually grow? So in the top here, you can see that rice is grown at first in a little nursery. So you plant all the little seeds and they sprout into little grass. And then they transplant the rice into a rice paddy. And rice can be grown underwater like this in a rice paddy. So they would transplant those tiny little grasses and then as they grow down here on the bottom, they would have to go into the fields and weed and make sure that the plant is growing well. And then they harvest it either with a combine, which is a machine that cuts the whole plant and then threshes the, the whole plant so that there, only the grain is left. And of course, people back in ancient China would have been doing this by hand. They would have been picking the, the rice grass and then threshing it and getting the grain. And here is the person holding the grain and then that's the grain that we eat or we plant and get more rice. Okay, what about the nutrition of rice? So today we're gonna to be eating brown rice and brown rice has a little bit more nutrition than white rice. So let's look at the picture of this seed here. And it's got this spiky thing around it. That's called the hull. So after we harvest the rice and thresh it and end up with the grain, the grains are each surrounded by a hull. So we have to take that hull off before we can eat it. And then brown rice has the layer of rice bran, bran around the edges. And then it has the germ right here, which is the germ of the new seed that's gonna grow. And then it has the white part, it's called endosperm. And that's the carbohydrates that the seed would use to get started and grow. But white rice just has the endosperm. So brown rice has a little bit more minerals and vitamins and fiber. So it's really good for us. What about the history of chopsticks? So the oldest chopsticks that they found were actually made of bronze. Originally though, chopsticks were probably made from twigs 
because way back in 8000 BC, people were figuring out how to eat wild rice. Okay, and here is our recipe for fried rice, and let's get going on our recipe. All right, so let's get started. So to make our healthy fried rice, the first thing that we would do is make the brown rice. You can use white rice too, but brown rice has the bran and the germ, and so the rice is full of more minerals and vitamins. And what you do to make your rice is you're just going to measure out one cup of rice for two cups of water, and then you're going to put it on the stove, bring it to a boil with the cover on, and then once it boils, you turn it down to low and let it just keep going for about half an hour. And Ours is over there, it's been going, so it should be about ready by now. So while the rice is going, we can get all of the other ingredients together, and that gives us lots of time to do that. And rice is on the My Plate chart, and it's under which food group? Grains, right. This recipe also has eggs in it, so eggs fall under which food group? Protein, great. So let's get started with the protein. So for this recipe, we're going to crack six eggs into a bowl, and then we're going to add some seasonings, and we'll cook that first. So now that we've cracked our six eggs, we're going to add some sesame oil. Now sesame oil is an excellent seasoning for Asian food, and you can find it just in the grocery store. It adds such a great flavor. It tastes just like a restaurant. If you don't have sesame oil, though, no worries. You can use soy sauce or even just salt. We're going to go ahead and add two teaspoons of sesame oil right into our eggs. We're going to also add half a teaspoon of soy sauce. Soy sauce adds a little bit of flavor and some saltiness. So we'll add half a teaspoon of soy sauce. The eggs taste really good with a little bit of salt. So we're also going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to whisk this together with either a fork or a whisk. Okay, now we get to do the veggies. I think I gave away the food group. <laughs> vegetables, right? So we've got vegetables, we've got protein, we've got grain. Okay, so for veggies, one really great thing to put in fried rice is bok choy. This is one of my favorite things. And you can also add scallions. Scallions add, or green onions, they add great flavor. But you could add other things too. We're going to add a little bit of frozen green peas. You could add different kinds of greens. You could add cabbage, or I've got these collard leaves, so I think we're going to add a few collard leaves. You can add lots of different kinds of greens. And then you could also add maybe some carrot or some radish. But really, it's up to you. You can add whatever you have on hand that works. Maybe some water chestnuts would be nice. So kids, if you want to help with some of the chopping, a great idea is to use a plastic knife. This little plastic knife with the serrated edges can chop the bok choy really well. It will just go right through that bok choy. You can chop up the bok choy that way. You can also crack the eggs and measure the rice, measure the water measure all the other ingredients that we're putting in. Okay, so we wanted about two cups of bok choy. And I'm going to put in a few of these collard leaves. Collard leaves taste surprisingly like bok choy. They're actually in the cabbage family, just like bok choy is. So they have a similar flavor. It's a fun and different way to use collards. Now, just to make it a little more interesting, I'm going to add a little bit of carrot and a little bit of radish. So one really important ingredient for this recipe is green onions or scallions. We use them to flavor the oil and then we put them in at the end for an extra bit of flavor. Really makes the fried rice super great. So what we're going to do is take these scallions and we're going to cut off the end. But you'll notice that these scallions have a little root on them. And one of my favorite things to do with these scallions is to cut off the end with a little bit of extra and then you can actually plant that in a pot and it will sprout more scallions. 
You can even do this inside and if you have a super sunny window, it will actually grow little scallion shoots, which is so fun. So often when I get scallions, I'll save the ends so I can plant them either inside or outside and get more scallions. This has to be the easiest thing to grow. There, I'm gonna save these little ends over here. Okay, so we're gonna chop up the scallions and we'll use much of the plant. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually divide the scallions into two parts. So one part is gonna to be to flavor the oil and the other part is gonna to be to add at the end to flavor the rest. So the last veggie we're doing today is peas. So we're gonna put in about a cup of peas. Get that ready. Now we're all set with our veggies. We have just one more thing we have to do before we can get started cooking. And the cooking part is really fast. We're gonna make a quick dipping sauce. So we're gonna use um, a teaspoon of ginger. Chop that up. Teaspoon of ginger. We're gonna add one teaspoon of this rice wine vinegar. Let's see if I have enough in here. Uh, just barely. Okay. Then we need um, a tablespoon of soy sauce. Yes. Put this in. Okay. And a tablespoon of sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, just use the soy sauce. There we go. And then we add a little teeny pinch of sugar, maybe like a eighth teaspoon or something. And then we're going to stir this up. And those are all measurements that you guys can do, kids. Make a dipping sauce. And this will make it taste really good. All right, now we have everything ready. We are ready to start with the egg and the scallions that we're going to use to season the oil. So let's head over to the stove. Okay, we're over at the stove. So the first step is to take some regular vegetable oil and put a little bit in the big frying pan that's going to give you space to stir your, your rice around. And we want to put enough in so that the eggs don't stick. Maybe about a tablespoon. And then we're going to put this on medium high and let it warm up. The next thing we're going to do is take those scallions that we set aside to season the oil and we're going to put them in. Okay, so we're going to just season the oil with these scallions. I'm just going to stir them around until they start to look a little bit brown. Just like a couple of minutes. Okay, they're starting to look pretty brown. So now what we're going to do is just kind of scoop the scallions out of there and leave the oil in there. And put the scallions onto a little plate. And then we've got our seasoned oil. So then what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a little bit of this oil and we're going to save it to use later with the vegetables. So now we've got some of our seasoned oil for later in here. Now we're going to heat the pan back up and we're going to, next thing to do is add our eggs. So we're going to make like a Chinese omelet here real fast. Make sure your oil is all nice and spread out. And then we're going to put the eggs in all at once. Like that. I'm going to kind of tilt the pan around. Maybe turn it down a bit. We're just going to let this seasoned egg cook in that seasoned oil. The egg is my favorite part of fried rice, probably. Once it starts to look nice and bubbly, then we will flip it. This is a really fast, easy meal to make for, for a week night. This is what our rice looks like right now. We've got the brown rice there. If you use leftover rice, it's actually better because it's dry and it fries up nicer. And another thing you can do with, with the rice is if you want to bother, you can spread that rice out on a baking sheet and kind of just let it dry or even put it in a really low oven and let it dry out a little bit. It will, it will fry up better that way. But it's just easier to use the rice. This is looking like it wants to flip. Grab this egg. And we're just going to flip it over like this. There we go. Look 
how nice and golden brown that looks. Okay. When the egg is all done, we're going to just slide it off into a plate. So we're going to take that oil that we seasoned, put it back in the pan. Okay. And then we're going to add about two cups of the rice. So one. Okay. And then we're going to start to saute this rice and kind of dry it out. Okay. And I had chopped up these harder veggies, so I'm going to put them in first. And toss them around with the rice for a minute before I add the softer veggies that don't take as long to cook. And we're also going to slice up this egg into chunks. So we can add that later and get that ready. This is looking good. Okay, now we're ready to add our other veggies. Let's turn this on high. We're going to turn this on high so it can really stir fry. Okay, so next up is the all the greens, the bok choy and collards. You could also use cabbage or Chinese cabbage. Yeah, those would be good. I'm going to actually use two sticks here to kind of stir it around. And then we're going to add our peas. We're almost done with a super quick recipe. Doesn't it look great? This is so healthy. There's so many veggies and brown rice. Okay, now we're near the end. So the last veggie that we're going to add is the scallions that we had set aside from before. Those are going to add a nice dip to the dish. Toss that around. Then we're going to add the egg. Pass that around. Okay. Great. And now we're going to toss in our dipping sauce. Tune it around. There we go. Okay, and that's it. We're just going to give it a few more tosses, and our fried rice is ready. Turn off the heat and take it off the heat. There we go. So this dish is going to serve about three or four people as a main dish, or you could have it as a side dish too. And if you've got some chopsticks, you can try to eat it with chopsticks. Mmm. Great, so I hope you get a chance to try this super easy fried rice recipe. Bye!